Youngbae is an ace salesman in the vehicle collateral industry who's been living an enjoyable life. But one day, the supercar entrusted by the boss, Mr. Sa, for one night disappears when Youngbae's so-called best friend, Dong Sik, runs off with the vehicle, and Youngbae takes the blame and starts to be chased by Mr. Sa's gang as the culprit. With no one to trust and nowhere to hide, Youngbae runs into his father's old car, the 1987 Stellar. With a top speed of 50 kilometers per hour and only 3 hours left to find the supercar, Youngbae must find Tongshik in the boss's supercar with his only hope, Stellar. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Korean movie review. As always, I'm your host Ian from Me and Talk, and today's review will be on the latest comedic drama out of Korean cinema, Stellar. But before getting into the review, I'd just like to say that I'll be giving my thoughts and opinions of the movie from here on out. Therefore, there may be minor spoilers, or parts about the movie you may not want to hear before watching yourself. I'm going to keep spoilers to a minimum, but please be aware of this. Stellar was directed by Kwon Soo Kyung, who also directed My Annoying Brother, and starred the likes of Son Oh Joon, Lee Gu Young, and Ho Sung Tae. No, the lineup didn't have the most A-list actors, but they definitely didn't disappoint. I'll get more into their performances later. Anywho, the film was a comedic drama that had me chuckling throughout and also gave an attempt in the emotional department as well. The film had a very similar vibe to the director's previous film, My Annoying Brother, and what I found interesting was that there was very little promotion of the film. I hardly saw this film being advertised both on and offline, and I'm sure most people don't even know of this film, let alone know that this was even releasing. Bad marketing tactics on the distributor side if you ask me, which is kind of odd considering how the film was distributed by CJCGV. But despite the bad PR efforts, was the movie worth the watch? Let's get into the review. But one moment, before getting deeper into the review, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to ExpressVPN. If you're looking to access more Korean movies but don't know where to find them, I highly suggest using ExpressVPN and accessing more Korean content. By using ExpressVPN, you can bypass geo restrictions, meaning you can be from anywhere around the world and access the Korean servers, like the Korean Netflix. If you'd like to access more Korean content, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link in the descriptions or expressvpn.com slash iantalk and get 49% off an annual plan, plus 3 extra months for free. Better yet, if you sign up and don't like the service, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning you can cancel any time within the first 30 days. Okay then, let's now take a look at what I found to be the good parts about the film. From the get-go, the movie starts off strong. It gives off a very light mood, which makes sense because the film itself is overall a very light one and had frequent funny scenes. It had me chuckling throughout and I very much appreciated that it didn't try to force the comedy onto the audience. I'm not a big fan of those quote-unquote over-the-top comedic films and I'm happy to say that this wasn't one of those. I mean, yes, there were some corny parts, but it wasn't over the board and I thought it kept a good balance. Furthermore, I have to mention the casting. The movie had a stellar cast, pun intended, and I thought the chemistry between the actors was great, especially the chem between Sono Jun and Lee Gyeong. Sono Jun was like his goofy, clumsy character he shows in variety shows, and he not only pulled off the goofy part spectacularly, but also the dramatic parts as well. Moreover, Lee Gyu Young, although he didn't come on screen till later in the movie, was great when he came on. His character in this reminded me of the role he played in the K-drama, Prison Playbook, which was a must-watch that I highly recommend watching if you haven't already. His expressions were really great, and a lot of the funny scenes came from his end. As mentioned, his and Sono Jun's chemistry was wonderful, and the scenes of them quarreling were great. And the final main cast member was Ho Sung Tae, who's probably the actor amongst the three main leads that's having the most spotlight in media nowadays thanks to his role in Squid Game. He played the typical bad guy role he almost always does in other productions, and he solidified himself as that type of character now. Also as mentioned briefly before, the movie hardly had any promotions, or I should say good promotions. Honestly, even the trailer didn't do the movie justice. They did a horrible job at selling this movie but for what it's worth, the film itself was actually a decent one that I recommend if you're looking for a light comedic watch. It kind of reminded me of the 2005 Disney film, Herbie Fully Loaded, starring Lindsay Lohan, in that Stellar, the car in this movie, also has a life of its own. Not a one-to-one -one similarity, but kind of just reminded me of that older film. Okay, now that we took a look at the good parts about Stellar, 
Let's now move along to what I found to be the bad parts about the movie. Considering this was a light movie to enjoy, I won't be too nitpicky, but one negative of the film is that the ending slash resolution was all over the place. I felt that it went a little too overboard with not making sense, and I also thought that it felt rushed to conclude. Finally, there were parts that didn't make sense to me. Maybe this was just me that missed something, but for example, the dad got in a car accident as a taxi driver, and the car was totaled. But when Sono Jun, the son, drives it, it's completely normal and there's no traces of it being totaled. Did I miss something? Overall, Stellar was a good light watch and one of the better comedic films that came out this year so far. If you're looking for something to just turn on, relax, and have a good laugh, I recommend giving this a go. I'll give Stellar a ticket price value of $11. And that concludes today's review on Stellar. Thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I hope this review has given you some insight into the film. If you've seen or are planning to watch the movie, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the film, so please leave a comment or join the Ian Talk Telegram group and we can discuss over there. If you'd like to access more Korean content, be sure to sign up for ExpressVPN using my link in the descriptions to get 49% off an annual plan. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and would like more video movie reviews. Once again, thank you to everyone that watched till the end, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to go to the house. Why you